Hello friends, in this tutorial we will cover query strings. Query strings is a basically is a client side state management technique that is used to transfer value from one page to another page. In this website we have designed two pages, first page and second page. On first page we have taken few text boxes and button controls. Now our requirement is whatever user entered in this text box, in name text box should be displayed on second page. Now these values can be transferred from first page to second page with the help of query strings. Now in case of query string the data is sent to another page by concatenating data with the URL. So let's learn how to transfer data, how to transfer values from one page to another page using query strings. Click on the button. Now write down the code. response dot redirect now response dot redirect method basically takes you to the another page now we want to go to second page while we are going to second page we can concatenate our data with the URL by using question mark now this question mark denotes the starting of the query string that our query string starts from here now let's give a unique name to the query string like I'll give the name n is equal to now concatenate the data with the query string now my data will come from text box txt name dot text now you can see one thing we are redirecting to the second page dot aspx with a query string name n and this query string will contain the data whatever we will input into text box name. Now let's turn this page. Now I will write John in the text box and when I click on this button you will see in the URL you can see a query string with the name n and the data is john now our variable query string variable n contains data john similarly if you change the data smith and again click on this button now this n contains smith now this is how we can transfer data from one page to another page using query string now our next next requirement is to assess the data using query strings now on the second page we will fetch the data from the query string. Now on the page load event write down the code response.write response.write is basically a method that you use to print the values onto the form. Or you can take uh, you can uh, take a variable over here string name and I want to put the value of the query string name in this variable. Write on the code request dot query string. Now by using request dot query string, you can assess the data of the query string and the name of the query string. Now the name of the query string is n. And I'm printing this value of name onto the page. You just click on the first page again and run this. Now you can see I have entered John into the text box and when I click on the button it takes me to the second page with the value John over here. So this is how we fetch the value from the query strings. Now the second requirement is to send multiple values using query strings. Now let's say I want to send name, age and city multiple values from first page to second page. Now write in the code response dot redirect again second page dot aspx 
because we are moving to second page in the first query string now this question mark donates the starting of the query string the first is name and your name will come from txt name.txt now you can differentiate first query string from the second query string by using ampersand symbol again concatenate ampersand and starts the second query string second is age so let's donate it with a a is equal to again the value will come from text box txt age dot text now again you have to take a hertz query string so we have to add ampersand symbol over here so ct is equal to plus txt city dot text now run this code again age 25 and city Chandigarh. when we click on multiple query strings you can see we are on to second page with the query string n is equal to Amit, the value of n is Amit, m percent donates that the query strings end here and the beginning of the second query string. The second query string name is A and the value of A is 25 and the third query string is C and the value is Chandigarh. Similarly, here we are fetching the value of query string n only. Now let's write down the code to fetch the value from A and C. So in the second page, write on the code string h is equal to now h will come from the query string a and city will come from the query string c So just print the value of name, age and city, the value of name, value of age and value of city and write down age over here and city. Now again run this page and you will see. When we click on this button, all the three values are transferred to page second. So the name is Smith, age is 45 and the city is New York. This is how you can transfer multiple values using query strings. Now remember one thing, the scope of query string is up to next page only. So if you are transferring the value to second page, you cannot assess the value from the third page. If you want to assess the value from the third page, you again have to resend them from the second page. Now, what are the various advantages of query string? The first advantage is it uses client resources. Because query strings are stored on client side in the browser memory, so it uses the client resources like serve client memory, client hard disk. Second is it is fast. So query string because they runs on the client side so they are much faster as compared to the other techniques that runs on server like sessions. The disadvantage of query string is it is not secure. So this is the main disadvantage of query string that query string data is not secure because user can see the data they can manipulate the data. The second disadvantage of query string is that its scope is only up to next page. You cannot assess the query string throughout the application. If you want to assess the query string to third page you have to resend the query string from the second page. So this is all from query string. Thank you very much.